Hey guys, my name is Chanel with the 3A's here on YouTube, 1A in real life, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm giving you guys this purple Easter look. If you are subscribed to my channel, then you already saw the green look that I did for um, St. Patrick's Day. And so now I'm doing this purple look because that was the next color that I chose out of the vault. Um, if you need the backstory, go over to that green video and it will give you the backstory on all of these little palettes that I got, these nine pan color palettes that I bought from ColourPop. But yeah, it came out really cute, really excited about it, came out how I wanted it. Um, you know what I'm saying? I got my little ghetto braids going on, um, my little joy braids from Friday because how much you need? Uh-uh, who is that? You know, with the little braids. Ooh. I love these braids, you guys. Like, um, I also did a video on these braids, by the way. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you need to subscribe because you're going to be missing out. But I also did a video on these braids and how I did them and why I did them the way that I did. And that is also on my channel. I'll put that in the cards as well. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this look, doing this look with me. Um, conversate with me down in the comment section below. Like this video, like I said, and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys at the end when this is all over okay so I'm gonna start with my base for my um, primer I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter soft matte primer um, I already prepped my skin after I washed my face and everything like that with some um, hydrating toner from Fresh Beauty and um, the face base from Bobbi Brown so um, and then I put on some eye cream from Glam Glow. Okay, so now that I have my primer on, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, correct with my NYX Conceal Correct Contour, etc, 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 etc. And I'm going to take the orange and I'm going to um, conceal, well not conceal, but I'm going to correct some of the dark spots. And I'm going to get down here in my chin area for the discoloration. It usually happens for me around mustache and then around um, these areas. So I don't really have a beard per se, but I have like a little goatee that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to color correct to get rid of that. So with the quarantine going on, what have you guys been doing? Um, so like I've been at home with the kids trying to do Caleb's homework and all this other mess. Um, I have to do my own homework for school. So I've been trying to do all that. And then they eat a lot like Caleb's only six and the baby is a baby she's only 10 months but I always have to get up to do some food and then I don't be feeding myself like I just be getting them snacks and stuff like that so I've been trying to concentrate on that but one of the things that I've realized is that I really enjoy getting into cooking um I did a lot of correcting, a lot more correcting than I normally do. But anyway, I'm going to take this Maybelline Fit Me in 330 Toffee. It's the Dewy Smooth Foundation. Um, and I'm going to put this on with this foundation brush. This is a Morphe MB8. But yeah, so I've been realizing that I really like have been enjoying creating dishes. Like I'm not really a cook cook like that, but I've done Thanksgiving I want to say twice by myself and then I've assisted my mom with Thanksgiving a couple of times and so um I cook a little bit like I did on dabble but I ain't no chef but I've just been realizing that I really have been enjoying like being in the kitchen and making these not being in the kitchen but I've been enjoying making some meals I guess you could say um I made a chicken pot pie last night and that shit was fire. I didn't use, so some of the recipes that I saw, they had you using um, canned soup. So cream of chicken soup and a cream of celery soup or a cream of celery soup. And I didn't even use no soup, y'all. Like I went straight in with the flour and um, I didn't have any heavy cream and I wasn't going to leave the house and risk getting coronavirus just to get some heavy cream so um I just mixed some butter and some milk together to kind of make a full heavy cream and y'all it came out good like that's all I can say is it came out better than I expected the chicken mm, I baked the chicken the chicken came out good I don't know so that's just one of the things that I've just been realizing like I've been enjoying making meals and the ones that come out really good, of course. The bad ones, no. But <laughs> uh, I've been enjoying like being in the kitchen and doing this. So um, I 
have recorded myself um, making two types of dinner. So the first one, I made some um, some gumbo, and I did this back in like January, but I have yet to edit and post the video. But I'm thinking I'm gonna do that soon. And then I also have some jambalaya that I made. Um, I want to say last week, couple weeks ago, that I wanted to show you guys too. So I recorded it. Um, but I also haven't gotten around to editing and posting that either. And I think one of the main reasons why is because, um, I'm not able to talk like I'm talking right now. I had to do voiceovers because there was way too much like noise in the background. So it's going to have to come with a voiceover. Um, uh, and because it's cooking and it's a little more personal, I wanted it to be personal. Like I didn't want to do a voiceover with it, but, um, I'm going to have to because I be having the TV on in the background for the kids and I don't want no copyright problems or none of that. So um, it's going to have to be what it is, but I really want to get into like cook with me videos with you guys um, because I've been having fun. I've been having fun doing them. If you want that and if you like that, I'm going to put like a little a thing, like a little poll up here. And then let me know if y'all are like, if y'all like watching videos like that from any other people that you're subscribed to on YouTube. And then comment down in the section, uh, in the comment section down below, let me know like how they do it. If you don't mind the voiceover, if you want it to be more personal and interactive and stuff like that. And then I'm going to try to see if I can get more into that because I really was having fun with that. Like having fun in this kitchen. So I have my wet sponge here with my damp sponge here and I'm just going to go over my face um, with the back of it just to make sure that there's no brush streaks or anything like that and then for concealer i'm going to take the color pop concealer in medium dark 36 and i'm going to um conceal and brighten with this so easter kind of like snuck up on me like um i like to take pictures so we have a a decent little front yard and we have some rose bushes out there and I like to take pictures of Caleb um in front of the little rose bushes so that's what I wanted to do this year for Easter with Michaela and um and him together but the weather has just been trippy here like I don't know where you guys are all at I'm pretty sure y'all are in a number of different places but I'm here in Texas and the weather has been like really nasty like no sunshine <laughs> like the sunshine comes out occasionally like it's nothing to where it's like oh what a beautiful day today like no it's been raining or like wanting to rain but not raining i don't know what it's doing but um i can't take no easter pictures outside if it look like like gray gloom like that ain't that ain't it that ain't where it's at so i'm hoping that the weather clears up by this sunday on easter um so that we can all take some really nice pictures in the yard but somebody on a motorcycle is wilding um but yeah i want to take some nice photos you know what i mean like i need this weather to get it together because like last week the sun came out a little bit and it was looking you know exciting but it just went back to its little gloom that it's been in and we ain't been having no good weather I'm just putting a little bit of this over on my eye um, to start out making it all one solid color I guess you could say for the eyeshadow I'm gonna start setting with the Laura Mercier and I'm gonna set um, my forehead first my forehead nose and chin with this little brush because um, I don't know I feel like it comes out better if I set with the brush first and then follow up with either my sponge or my little poof um, I feel like I just get a better result when I set that way because I have kind of like my, my skin fares on the drier side so what this is looking really saturated I hope it isn't looking saturated whenever I go to um, to edit and stuff like that but anyway so I've been noticing because I have kind of dry skin that underneath my eyes, um, it looks a lot better if I set it first with the, um, with the brush and then go in with the sponge or with my little poof thing, my little Laura Mercier poof afterward. So, and then I'm gonna get this other eye. 
and sat under here. Oh my God, the baby just woke up. It's gonna be trouble, trouble. Cause she's screaming. What, what, why'd she wake up? Why'd she wake up? Anyway, um, t instead of going back with the, um, the sponge, I'ma just use whatever's kind of left over. I'ma set the rest of my face really quick instead of using the little sponge to do it because I don't wanna deal with this child, 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 child. And I'm supposed to be making hamburgers for lunch. Like, I'm trying to get in the kitchen real quick and make these little burgers. I wanted to go in and out, but I'm trying to stay in the house. Like, I'm trying to avoid going out and staying in the house instead of going to go get food. So, I'm trying to force myself to make these hamburgers because I have the um, ground beef already thawed out. It's already thawed out. And I have um, leftover hamburger buns from when we made. We grilled hamburgers on a very nice day last Sunday. Um... <laughs> before it got all gloomy again. So now that my face is kind of set, I'm going to use this bronzer from ColourPop. Um, I don't know the name of it because it is inside of this little case right here. So I don't be knowing, I don't know why they do it like that, but I don't know the name. Um, I can't compare it though to K-pop on um, ColourPop because it's kind of that same, it has the same sparkles in it, it's kind of the same tint and everything. So I can kind of compare it to that, but I'm just gonna use this. I wanna go a little bit darker with the um, bronzer today because of the color that I'm using. I feel like it, a darker um, contour or bronzer would look better against the purple. So that's why I'm going a little bit darker. Yeah. And I'm not taking any extra right now. I'm just kind of putting um, whatever's left over in my jawline area. Instead of doing like a perfect little contour on my nose, I'm just gonna take a little bit of the powder on the thinner side of this brush. By the way, this is a Real Techniques um, Rebel Edge Broad Brush. I don't know, but I thought they was cute for bronzer, so I bought them. Um, I'm just going to take it and sweep this on the sides of my nose, not really doing a um, legit nose contour or anything like that, just kind of sweeping it across. So the base is pretty much done. I'm going to do my brows really quick and I'm going to do that off camera. Um, I'm going to do it with this Pixie by Petra Brow Powder Palette. Um, I got this from Target a long time ago, I want to say, but I really like the way that powder brows be looking on me. So I'm going to use this um, second darkest color right here, and I'm going to do my brows, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the brows is done. Um, I'm going to move on to the palette now. It is the It's My Pleasure palette from ColourPop, obviously, because I bought the set, like I said. Um, and these are the colors. These are some of the colors that are inside that we get to play with today, which I am excited about. Um, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do, but I'm not really sure how it's going to come out. So, we just going to start trying it out and we're going to see what happens. So, I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with Fan Fiction, this pinky color right here. I'm putting this in the crease. I like this. This is a pretty little color. Hold on. Hold on, we might be doing something right here. I like this a lot. Um, so, in addition to like cooking and doing my little cooking thing, I also have been getting um, into reading more because I feel like I need to read books, you know what I'm saying? Like, I need to be out here increasing my knowledge. So, I've been trying to read books. Um, I read the Trevor Noah's Born a Sin book earlier in January um that was the first book that I started with and then and then I wanted to go in um with the Michelle Obama book um so I started with those two I just finished the Michelle Obama book um it took me a lot longer than it should have taken me to read that book I don't know why um it wasn't boring or anything like that it was just I don't know it just took me a long time to finish it but I just read those two books and I was supposed to read stuff like that all year. Like I was supposed to read stuff to learn from, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm now reading Harry Potter for the third time. So, and when I say Harry Potter, I mean like the full set. Like I'm a Harry Potter stan. Um, I am on the second book right now. I should finish it today actually. Um, I already finished the first book so I should finish the second book today, The Chamber of Secrets. Um, and what's even more exciting is that they're on TV, like 
that's what got me started is because they kept coming on TV. So they was coming on um, the USA channel and some other channel. Um, and they kept playing them like in a marathon. So I was watching them over and over again. And then um, I was like, okay, let me buy the book. So they stopped. But I turned on the TV today when I was putting the baby down for her first nap and Fantastic Beast was on. So you know I had to click there automatically. So I click on Fantastic Beast and now Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is coming on. Like it's coming on in the next three minutes and I ain't in there to watch it. But um, I'm going to watch it as soon as I finish with this. But my husband, he's been getting tired of me watching Harry Potter over and over again. But I don't care. It's too good. It's too good not to watch it. Even with reading the books, like I have to watch it. Why wouldn't I? Um, so that's probably what I'm going to do after I finish up here with this gorgeous look, this gorgeous Easter look. Okay, so I'm good with that. I want to add this um, kitten fish color. I want to add this purple color, but I don't want to mess this up and then it's not warm anymore. You know what I'm saying? And it turns into this like ugly dull look but I really want to try kitten fish just like up here I don't want to mess this up though like I don't want to mess it up I don't want to mess it up I think instead I'm going to use um pretty cruel I'm going to use pretty cruel instead in the um outer edge just to kind of blend in where I put fan fiction in the eyebrow area I want to kind of keep this warm so Pretty cool, pretty cruel is gonna have to work. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some shimmers. Um, I think I want to use Mr. Sandman, which is this beautiful, like, it's got these blues in it. It's really pretty. So I'm thinking I wanna use Mr. Sandman and then I wanna use um, this, whichever it is, Earthshine. Earthshine? or bare minimum, I also want to use with Mr. Sandman on the um, inner corner of the eye. So starting with Mr. Sandman, I'm going to put that on the middle. It's nice, but I need to use my finger. Otherwise, I'm not going to get what I want out of it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm looking a little mermaid-ish. Like, this is looking a little more like mermaid than it is like Easter, but... Anyway, I'm going to take Minimum, which is the darker one. And I'm going to use that instead on the inner of my eye. Because I'm going to use the lighter one for my inner corner highlight. And I'm going to try to blend these two together. This is a really pretty color. Can you guys see? Hold on, let me. That's a really pretty color. It's a bold color. It's a lot bolder than I expected it to be, to be honest. But we gonna roll with it. We ain't scared of it. We are not scared of it. It's bold, but we are we scared? Are we intimidated? No. Um, because I'm gonna take Mr. Sandman some more. Mr. Sandman is not doing what I expected it to do. Uh, to be honest. Let me see. If I blend these two together. I don't know if I'm feeling Mr. Sandman. I might have to move away from it. I'm gonna go to um, Do or Doe, to Do or Doe instead of Mr. Sandman because um, it's not really doing what I wanted to do and I'm just picking it up on the brush. And I'm gonna put that on top of where I put Mr. Sandman and that I feel like is better because Mr. Sandman was not, like it looks great in the pan but it's not doing like anything for me okay do or doe is a little better I can rock with it lean with it rock with it let me see okay yeah do or doe is a little bit better yeah like look look even what it did in the pan like it doesn't look like it doesn't even look like how it started in the pan ew I don't know why it looks like that but that's not how it looked originally. So I'm gonna go with Earthshine, the pink one, and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. Earthshine came on purple, but it looked like pinky in the, uh... am I tripping? Like it came on purple, 
but it looked pinky in the pan. Let me swatch it. That's a good idea, right? To swatch it. Oh, it is a purpley swatch too. I guess it just looks different in the pan. Um, but that's okay. It's cute. It's the purple is really coming through for me right now. And I like that. So, um, I'm going to take a little bit of a denser brush and I'm going to go back in with fan fiction. Um, which is the main color that we used in the crease and I'm going to bring it back a little bit and I'm just pressing it in not really um, kind of like just feathering it in that way the color comes back I'm not really like blending it or anything like that nice okay so for my bottom lash line I'm going to use um, sleeper which is a darker color and I'm going to put that on my bottom lash line um, using the same brush that I just used and I'm going to put it close to where my lashes are. Okay, and then I'm going to take, go back into Fan Fiction. And I'm just going to smudge it out a little bit. Okay, so my camera is heating up. I don't know why. But on top of my camera heating up, it's about to die. So I'm going to charge it really quick. While it's charging, I'm going to put on some um, a black eyeliner. And then I'm also going to put on some lashes. And then I'm going to be back to finish the face. Okay, so I put on some liner with the Fenty Beauty, uh, Fenty Beauty. I always say Fenty Beauty whenever I'm saying Fenty Beauty. The Fenty Beauty, um, cause I'm black fly liner. And I wanted to do a dramatic wing because I haven't done one in a while, like a super dramatic one. And it just came out kind of like a mess. So I'm glad that I have these lashes on to hide it. These lashes are ColourPop falsies in the, um, in the, tone shade what the fuck is it called in the uh in the style chick <laughs> um so i have these lashes on they're kind of like wide lashes i don't know but they give like a little flutter look so they're kind of cute and they hide my messed up um eyeliner so for my bottom lash line um i don't know if i showed you guys yeah i did so for my bottom um line i'm going to put this ColourPop liner because as we all know from my green video um i bought i just went ham on ColourPop's website but so i have the a few liners colored liners and i have this purple one this is the cream gel liner in this shade chimer and i'm gonna put this in my lash line she's bold she is but um I feel like it does something um for my blush i'm gonna use this nars orgasm blush um it's just like a pinky cute little blush color um and i don't have any highlighter that i like with this look because it's kind of silvery and i have a highlighter that's kind of silvery but it's more on the pink side so since i don't have anything um, I'm just going to do blush and I'm not going to do any highlight, but I'm going to bring the blush kind of high on my cheeks. And then I'm going to bring it across my nose a little bit, um, not adding too much. We ain't trying to doja cat it, but I'm going to add a little bit across my nose since I don't have um, the highlighter on my nose. And boom, that does it. That does it for the set. That does it. Um... So I'm going to put on a little bit of, actually I'm not going to put on mascara yet. I'm going to do my lips first. For my lips, I'm going to use this curvy lip pencil from ColourPop. Um, it's with the I Love Sarai lip co um, collaboration. Okay. And as you can see, it's not really like flesh toned um, because it has a little bit of like pink in it. But it's kind of like my lip tone, I guess you could say. So for my lips, I'm going to take Cathedral um, from Kat Von D. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I love this color, you guys. Like, this cathedral color, um, I really like this, especially for, like, the summertime. This is a banger. When you, like, in the summer and you're not doing too much with the eyes, this is a banger. On my skin tone, at least it is. I really love, um, cathedral. I love it. I love it. I love it. On camera, it looks really, like, um, fleshy and kind of brown. But this is more on the mauve side, by the way. So I don't want to get you guys confused with that. This is kind of, like, on the mauve side of things. I'm going to put on mascara, and I think that is it. Um, actually, before I put on mascara, I'm going to set my face with this um, Urban Decay Chill. This is, like, a hydrating, um, cooling and hydrating makeup setting spray. 
and then I'm gonna put on some mascara on um, my lashes to kind of cover up the shadow that's on there and then also put it on my bottom lash line oh it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good okay so for these braids hold on let me back y'all out a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit there we go we get we get right there so for these braids I'm gonna use this TGIN daily um, buttercream moisturizer um, if you haven't seen my video on how I did these braids and you need to go check it out but I'm just gonna put some of this buttercream moisturizer on my hair I'm not laying my edges or anything like that I'm just putting the cream on my edges so that they're nice and um, moisturized because your edges they be getting like beat up and bruised in the shower or whenever you're washing your face like in the morning at the sink your edges be taking a hit because you be putting the 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 cleanser all in your forehead trying to cleanse it to make sure that you don't have no hairline breakouts and um they be getting dry from the cleansers it's like washing your edges every day so um you make you gotta make sure that they moisturize i just did these braids though like on sunday and today is thursday so um was it Sunday? Sunday or Saturday. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was Sunday. But I'm just going to put this buttercream moisturizer all over my hair um, to make sure that it is moisturized and all good and luxe and delicious. And tell me who she is. <laughs> so ghetto. But that's what I wanted these to be like. These came out how I wanted. I wanted them to be something where I didn't have to lay my edges all the time. Okay, so I got some of the moisturizer on, and I'm actually putting it, like, on the braids where I know my natural hair is um, to kind of moisturize my hair, too. I'm not putting it throughout the whole length of it because that would be a waste of product, but just kind of, like, see where I know my hair is at within the braid. <sighs> then I'm going to use some of my hair growth elixir. Ow. And I'm going to put some of this my braids and then I'm gonna put some in my hand and massage it in my scalp and then on my braids you also need to get the neck of your neck the nape of your neck because the nape of your neck be taking a hit too whenever you washing your neck and you rinsing it off with the water in the shower it be taking a hit so you got to take care of those areas when you got your hair you know really 24 7 with your hair but when you got your hair in braids don't think that you can neglect those areas you have to be taking care of them okay and that's all i'm doing to these braids i'm not finna i'm just not finna do it i'm not doing my edges that's why i did these braids in the way that i did them so that i did not have to do my edges and i'm not going to so um let me change my shirt and i'm gonna be right back because that's the end of this video so that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this purple little Easter look. I'm probably actually going to recreate this look on Easter so that I can look real cute with the kids and take some photos if the sun acts right. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.